Hi guys, today I am here to bring you an athletic Pilates workout on the Pilates Reformer. As far as equipment goes for today's workout, you will need a reformer and also a box. This is more of an intermediate level class. Take this class at your pace, modify as necessary, and as always, adjust the springs as necessary to how your body is feeling today and also for the reformer you are working on. I'm excited for this workout, I hope you are too. When you're ready, let's get started. All right guys, so I'm all set up. I've got one heavy spring on my reformer. My foot bar is up, my headrest is down, and I've placed my box down next to my reformer about, let's say, six inches away. We are gonna start down on our box today. So come down and sit on the edge of the box, and we'll start by laying our body all the way down. Once you're down here, make sure as much of your spine can be on the box as possible, and then bring your hands behind your head, elbows nice and wide. Your toes can be down on the floor for now, and then when you're ready, we'll bring one knee into a tabletop position, the other knee into a tabletop position. Let's glue our inner thighs together here for a moment, and then when you're ready, inhale the chest up, open over the edge of the box, and exhale, curl the head, neck, chest up. Again, inhale and exhale. Tailbone staying heavy on the, car or on the box the whole entire time. Elbows reaching nice and wide. Finding your breath here, we'll do four more. And three. Good, last two. And one more time, let's keep our head, neck, and chest curled up on this last one, and we'll start our toe taps. So one foot reaches forward towards the floor, and then the other. By no means do you actually have to bring your toes all the way to the ground. We want to keep about a 90 degree angle behind the knees, and then just go as far as feels comfortable for you today. You want your low back plastered down to that box for now. Keep that breath flowing. Let's do four more. And three. Last two. And last one. Leave your left toes down on the ground, your right knee in a tabletop position, and we're just gonna again curl up as you extend that leg, and then lower the head, neck, and chest down as you bend that knee. Curl and extend, lower and bend. Keep it going here for four. Last one. Good, bend the knee, lower the head, neck, and chest back down. When you're ready, take a breath, inhale, and then exhale, rotate towards your lifted knee. Inhale through center, exhale, twist. Beautiful, let's do four more here. Last two, and last time. Good job, switching out to the other side. We'll start with our leg extension. Lower the head, neck, and chest down. As you extend the leg, lift the head, neck, and chest up. Inhale, lower, exhale, curl. Let's do four more here. Last two. And one more time. Bend the knee back in, lower the torso down. Here we're gonna rotate towards our lifted knee. Take a breath, inhale, exhale, twist. Let's do four more. Last time through, coming through center, drawing both knees into the chest, bring our hands onto our shins. Curl the head, neck, and chest up a little bit higher, elbows bent out to the sides. When you're ready, inhale, extend arms and legs away from each other. Exhale, hug everything back in.
Let's do four more. Last two. And last time. Sweep those hands back behind your head. Let's bring our heels together, our knees apart into a Pilates V or a frog position. Take a breath, inhale as you extend your legs forward. Exhale and bend the knees. Inhale, press away. Exhale, bend. Four more here. Last two. And last one. Bring your knees in, glue your inner thighs together, wrap your toes over an imaginary bar. From here, press the legs out and pull the legs in. Let's do four more. And last time. From here, separate your heels again. This time, keep your toes pointed and we'll extend the legs, flex our feet, point our toes, and come in. Reach, flex, point, return. Reach, flex, point, return. Let's do four more. Last two. And last time. Good, hug those knees into the chest. When you're ready, let's rock and roll it up to seated. Point your sit bones right down to that ground below you. Bring your feet sit bone distance apart and hands behind the head. Let's lift our elbows nice and high here, sitting up tall in our sit bones. Take a big, big breath, inhale through the nose. And then exhale, let's twist to one side. Inhale back up through center and exhale, twist the other way. Keeping those knees nice and centered, even weight through both sides of the sit bones. As I rotate to the right, I like to think about pushing my right knee slightly forward. As I rotate to the left, stretching my left knee slightly forward to create some opposition there as I twist. Let's do one more each way. And last time. Come back through center. Let's reach our arms forward of the shoulders. Make sure you're seated fairly far forward on your box. And let's take a half roll down here. So take a big breath, inhale, get tall. Exhale, tuck the tailbone under towards the back of the knees, lowering the body halfway down. From here, we'll lift our arms, we'll lower our arms, and we'll sit all the way back up. Again, inhale at the top, exhale, rolling it back, keeping those feet weighted. Lift the arms, lower the arms and sit up. We'll do two more just like that, rounding, reaching, and last time, rounding and reaching. Good, adding a little bit of rotation here. Take a breath, inhale, grow taller. Exhale, tuck the tailbone under, roll halfway back. Let's rotate and reach to one side. Come back center, rotate, reach to the other side. Come back center and sit up. So you could imagine that you're holding a weighted ball in your hands as you rotate, lifting and lowering that ball. Again, as I'm rotating to the right, I'm thinking about reaching my right knee slightly forward in order to keep the knees even with one another. Good, let's just do one more each way, rounding, rotating and reach. And last time here, rounding, rotating and reach and come up through center. Let those arms lower down to the sides of the box. Take a breath, inhale here, get nice and tall. Exhale, reach up and over to one side, sliding your other fingertips just down the side of the box. Grow tall through the middle and let's go to the other side. Nice, keep alternating here, finding some lateral flexion through the spine. One more each way. And last time through. 
Beautiful job. So our abdominals are a little bit warmer. Our spine is a little bit warmer. Let's come all the way up to standing. Facing in towards our box, we're gonna do some step ups here just to get our heart rate up. So hands right in front of you. We're gonna step up with the left leg and down with the left leg. Up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. You can go at whatever pace suits you. We're always stepping up and down with that left leg for now. Nice, keep the belly braced, the spine nice and long. Beautiful, let's do four more here. Three, last two, and last one. Now step up with the left leg, bend your back knee. You might have to step a little bit further back with the right foot so that you'll be coming into a little lunge position here. From here, we're just gonna drop that back knee down and up, down and up, dripping it towards the floor. Front knee stays fairly close to over the ankle the whole time here. You'll see this exercise again a little later in the class on the reformer. So here on the floor, we're just getting used to this position. Let's do four more here. And three, and two. And last one, stay low, shift the upper body forward, let the back leg straighten a little bit, and now drip the back knee again towards the floor in this upper body hinge. The range of motion may be a little smaller. Good, let's do five, four, three, two, and last one. Let's rotate towards our front knee. You might be able to put your elbow on that knee and then just do a few straightening and bendings of that back leg. Good, four more, and three, and two, and one, come back center, step back and down with that foot, and now we're gonna change our lead leg. So stepping up and down with the right leg, up, up, down, down. Again, your pace here. Good, keep it going. Beautiful, again, your belly is braced. Five more here. Four. Last two. And last time. Step back up with the right leg. Lift the back heel. Adjust yourself so you're in a di nice distance, leg to leg, and then we're gonna come down and up with our back knee. Torso is fairly high here. Let's do five, four, last two, and last one. Straightening the back leg, hinging the upper body over, and then again, we bend and straighten that back leg again. This time the upper body is just pitched on that diagonal. For five, four, three, two, stay low. Rotate towards your bent knee, maybe that elbow comes down, and just do a few straightening and bendings of the back leg. Finding that balance for five, four, three, two, and one. From here, we're gonna transition down onto our box. So hands find the sides of the box. Walk yourself back into a plank position here. You want your hands about two thirds of the way down the box, not too far forward. And then we're just going to take one knee at a time and tap the box. Good. Shoulders are directly over those wrists. Fingertips are dropping down the sides of the box. Good, for five and four. Little taps, last two and last one. Now let's bring our left knee back in, right to the edge of the box. We're gonna lower that knee down towards the floor and then lift it back up, drawing the abdominals up and in. So it's like a little cat, round and lower, round and lower. Let's do four, three, last time. Good, bring that foot back, exchange it for your other knee, lower and round, 
lower and round. Good for four, three, last two, and last one. Bring both feet back, find your plank, just hold there for five, four, three, two, and one. Step it in. We have one more little set on our box. I'm gonna move a little bit this way just so I can see you guys better. We're gonna face sideways and put one foot on top of the box in a bit of external rotation here. So toes and knees and hips are open. Let's just come down into a squat and rise. Down and rise. Torso is lifted. You can bring those hands forward and back. Good, let's do four, three, two. Last one, stay nice and low. Come down and up just an inch. Good, let's do eight, seven. Last four. And one, stay low. Your standing foot, the heel is gonna lift and lower, just warming up that ankle a little bit. Pressing into the big toe and second toe. We've got four more. Three, last two. Now option to keep the heel lifted or lower it down and just pulse towards the floor for eight and seven and six. Really opening up those hips. Good for four, three, last two, and one, stand it all the way up. Move around to the other side of your box or just turn your body around and we'll go to the other side. Good, so find that external rotation in both of your legs. Hips, knees, and toes are wide and in alignment with each other and then we just come down and up here. Noticing the differences side to side. This is definitely my tighter hip here. Good. Imagining you're traveling straight down and up for four, three, two. Let's come down an inch and up an inch here. Nice. And then I promise we're getting on that reformer. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. Stay low, lift and lower your heel. Good, for four, three, two, heel lifted or lower it down, little pulse. Good, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Heel down, stretch it out. Take your foot off that box. I'm just gonna move my box to the end of my reformer just to get it out of the way for now. And then, we're gonna to come to kneeling on our reformer facing back. So remember we're on that one heavy spring. From here, we're gonna bring our left foot forward onto the headrest. I like to press my shin into my shoulder block for a little added stability. And then you're gonna reach down and grab onto your straps. Palms up here, elbows in front of the shoulders, belly is braced. My back toes are hooked over the edge of my carriage. From here, we're gonna bend those elbows and straighten our arms. Just a little bicep curl here. We'll do two rounds of each exercise so that we can switch out our legs in the middle. Let's do five more. Last three. Last one, hold those elbows bent at 90 degrees. Keep the carriage still and reach your arms on an upward diagonal and then bend the elbows back in up on a diagonal and bend. Some just isometric work here. For five, four, last two, and last one. Bring your arms down by your sides now. Same thing, just pressing the arms back. So same leg position. Just pressing your arms back into that chest expansion. Now check in with yourself. If you don't need yourself braced against that shoulder block, let's remove that brace so we can work on our balance. Nice long arms reaching towards the floor in each direction. 
We'll do four more. Last two. And last one. Hold the arms right next to the hips now and open and close the arms like windshield wipers, keeping the carriage steady. Good. Let's do five. Of course, windshield wipers don't really work like this, right? Last three. And two. And one. Very nice job. From here, you're going to put down the same strap of the leg that is in the back. You might need to choke up on your strap a little bit here. We're gonna do a little rotation to this side. So we're gonna just pull the elbow back and rotate the torso to that side and then reach the arm back front. Again, pull that elbow past the ribbon, twist, and then go back forward. That's it, I'm doing my best not to laterally translate my ribs, but really to just kind of spiral around my spine like a rotisserie chicken or something like that. Good, let's do four more here. One of my old instructors used to say that. Last three. Last two. And one more time. Beautiful job. From here, keep that same strap in your hand. Other hand is going down to the shoulder block. Now we're gonna just do a tricep extension here. Keeping the elbow nice and high, trying to lift the belly up off of that thigh. Collarbones wide. Let's do four more here, exhaling on that work. Three. And last time. Bring that strap back for just a moment so that we can switch out our legs. So bring the leg that's in front back and just switch it out. Again, you can press that shin up against the shoulder block if you'd like. And then we're back to our bicep curls. So elbows high in front of the shoulders, palms facing up. We'll just bend those elbows and straighten the arms. Good. Now you want to keep the front of this hip nice and open. Be careful that the hips don't start to lean back in space but you've got a little squeeze in your standing glute. Let's do five. Three. And last time. Hold those elbows bent at 90 degrees. Keep the carriage still as you reach up on that diagonal and back down into your 90 degree angle. for four, three, two, and one. Flip those palms back. Let's go back into our chest expansion. Challenging that balance if you can, removing your shin from the shoulder block. Let's do four. Last two, and last one. Bring those hands in line with the seams of your pants and we'll open and close the arms out and into the sides. Quiet carriage. Five, four, last two, and last time. Let's place the strap back the same strap that the, be the leg is back. And then we'll come on up, high on our knee again, reaching up a little higher on the strap. Let's pull that same elbow back and rotate to that side, and then come back center and reach the arm. Now you can choke up higher on your strap if you want to gain some more resistance, or just stay exactly where you are. Exhale, twist. For five. Last three here. And one more time, just wringing out that waist. Beautiful, from here tip over at the hips and we'll do our tricep extension. Keeping the elbow high by the rib cage, just extending and bending that lower arm, squeezing the tricep as you extend. 
You could be up on your fingertips here too. Let's do four more. Three. Last two. And one more time. Very nice job. From here, place your strap back for a moment. We are gonna turn all the way around to face the other direction. So feet against the shoulder blocks. Sit back on your heels for a moment so you can grab your straps. If you have a choice, I'm grabbing the long loops now. That is up to you. From here again, we're gonna stand up tall on our knees, pushing the pelvis forward, flattening out the front of those hip creases. Bring those fingertips towards your armpits, palms up. From here, just present those arms forward, hold them forward, lower them down, lift them up, and then bring the elbows back in. And again, press, lower, lift, and return. Press, lower, lift, and return. Let's do four more here. And three. Good, I'm nice and active in my lower body here. I'm squeezing the space between my knees on the carriage. I'm squeezing my glutes. Last round. And return. Now just flip those palms so that the palms are facing down and we'll just press our arms forward, little chest press. My straps are below my elbows. Exhaling forward for five, four, last two, and last one. Very nice job. Bring your hands just about the width of your shoulders here, palms facing front. Now straps are on top of the arms. Let's press straight up to the ceiling and back down. The carriage will move just a little bit here. Nice job, you've got five. Pull your elbows down, use those lats. Four, pull, three, and last time. From here, you'll bring your toes down and bring your straps back. All right. So let's get our box back again, but before we do that, we are gonna lower our foot bar down all the way. Now, depending on your reformer, <clears throat> if your foot bar lays flat, that's fine as well. We're gonna take our box on top of our reformer, right in the space between the foot bar and the carriage. So your setup may look a little different than mine, but you want to make sure that the carriage moves freely, and the box is secure. Those are the most important parts of this setup. From here, we're gonna come down onto a fo our forearms, feet against our shoulder blocks, forearms down on the box. Elbows and hands can either be parallel or fists can be towards one another. Shoulders away from the ears. Press the carriage out enough so that your knees are directly under your hips, your toes are tucked under. Now we're gonna keep that carriage completely still in space as we just hover the knees and lower the knees. Take your time to adjust your feet. Make sure that you feel nice and stable. And then just hovering and lowering the knees repetitively here. Good, spine is nice and long in a neutral position. Let's do five and four. Last two. On this last one, hold the knees up, press the carriage out, bend the knees in and tap. Lift, press, bend, tap. Lift, press, bend, tap. Let's do four. And three. Two. On this last one, lift, extend, hold the legs extended. Pike, press. Pike, press, tailbone lifting to the sky. From here, four more, and three. Last two, we're gonna transition into a side plank from here, last one. Extending the carriage out, turn your arms so that they look like the number 11, then turn your left fist into your right elbow, 
and rotate your feet to face one direction. So my front foot is along, or my top foot is um, in line with my front shoulder block. My back foot is in line with my back shoulder block. Top hand to the ceiling, press the carriage out, lower the hips, pull the carriage in, lift the hips. Press and lower, lift and pull. Good, you have an option to lower the knees down, right? Always that option. Let's do four. Two. Last time, hold that nice side plank. Take your top arm, rotate under towards the well, and back open. Under towards the well, and back open. Last three here. Two. And last one. Top arm to the sky, just little hip lifts for eight, seven, six, last four, three, two, and one. Lower everything down. Take a moment to reset. Roll out those shoulders. I hope you could hear me during that. My mic is getting a little crazy. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Let's start in our forearm plank and then transition over into our other side plank. So coming down, feet against your shoulder blocks, arms in a number 11 position. Hover the knees, press the carriage out. Turn your right fist into your left elbow, rotate over onto your side. Top hand to the sky, remember knees can be down. From here, press the carriage out, lower the hips down a bit, pull the carriage in and lift the hips up. Coming into again a little bit of lateral flexion. Let's do four. Last two. And last one. Hold the carriage nice and steady. Rotate your top arm underneath you, looking down at the springs, and then open the spine back up. Again, exhale, rotate. Inhale, open. Let's do two more here. And last time, top arm to the sky, little hip lifts for eight, seven, six, last four, three, two, and one. Ha! Oh, lower down. Come to kneeling, or you can have a seat all the way down on your tush, and let's just take a side bend here before moving on. One more time each way. Now we're coming into some lunges. I am gonna do my set of lunges with one foot up on the box. If that doesn't feel appropriate for you today, you can move the box down to the floor next to the reformer with the foot bar up for support. You can do the lunges flat on the floor on the side of the reformer without the box at all. So take the option that works for you today. If you're coming with me, we are gonna take our hands onto the box. We're gonna step up onto the carriage. I'm gonna leave my right heel lifted back on the carriage in front of the shoulder block. My other foot is coming up onto the box. And we're gonna kind of repeat that set we did on the floor. So if you can, hands to the thigh or hands to the hips. We're gonna press the carriage out a little bit, little bit as we lower the back knee towards the ground and then lift back up. Down and up. Does not have to be a big range of motion here. Working on balance and stability, keeping those hips square to the front of the room. Let's do four more. Last two and last one. Now we're gonna tip the upper body forward and again, come down a little bit and up a little bit. This time on the reformer, if you're up here with me, the back leg will be fairly straight throughout. Good, for five, four, last two, and last one. Rotate towards your front knee, bring that elbow down if it's there for you, and then bend and straighten your back leg. For five, four, last two, 
and last one. Now you can come down from here or you can lower your back knee towards the carriage, taking your fingertips onto your box, adjust your front foot as necessary. And this is a pretty glorious stretch for the front of the hip flexor and the quadricep. So if you have that range of motion in your quadricep, you can stay here and take this stretch. Breathing. Nice, let's carefully transition to the other side. So bringing both hands to the inside of your front foot, sweep that leg back behind you, tucking the toes under in front of your shoulder block. We'll stand up for a moment just to get into position. Other foot comes forward onto the box. Once you feel secure, your hands can come to your front thigh or maybe your hips. Good, chest is lifted. Let's lower our back knee down and up as we press the carriage out just that little bit. Let's do five, four, last two, and last one. Tip the upper body over. Let's come out and in a few inches with a fairly straight back leg here. The upper body is pitched forward on a diagonal. Let's do five, four, I have to count because I need to count down to when we're gonna be done. Last one, bend the back knee in, rotate to the front knee, and here we go, a little press out. Out. For five, four, three, two, and one. Hands down, come all the way out of this position or just lower your back knee. Adjust your front foot, press your pelvis forward, and maybe press the carriage out a little bit to increase that quadricep and hip flexor stretch. <sighs> Breathe. Very nice job. Bring both hands to the inside of your front foot. Let's transition down. We're gonna lay all the way down on our back now. Box in the same position, your headrest should be down. You're still in that heavy spring. All the way down on our back. We're gonna take our heels wide on the box. Flexing the feet, heels are down, toes are pulled back towards the shins, arms down by the sides. Now press the carriage out a little bit here and hold the carriage still now. As you tuck the tailbone under and roll the spine up into a bridge, opening up the front of the hips and then lower the spine down with control. Again, once you find that perfect spot for your carriage to stay, don't let it move. Tuck the tailbone under, rolling up and rolling back down. Let's do three more here. Settling into this bridge series. Last time. Nice job. Now let's lift the hips up, roll the hips up. Press two thirds of the way out, let the hips drop a little bit and then pull the carriage in and propel the hips upward. Down and out, up and in. I'm not allowing my legs to fully straighten. I'm keeping a soft bend just to protect my knees there. We'll just do four more. Last thing to do here in bridge, pull the carriage in and now just butterfly the knees out to the side, working those outer hips. We'll do eight, seven, six, really lift the hips high to the sky. Last four, three, two, and one. Roll those hips down. Let the back of one leg rest on the box. Bring the other leg up to the ceiling and let's just take a little hamstring stretch here. Relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the sacrum. Exhaling the breath.
Cross that ankle over the other thigh. Maybe bend your knee and take a hip opener. Other side, hamstring stretch. Relax. And hip opener, crossing the ankle over the opposite thigh, adding a little gentle pressure into your inner thigh with your hand if you'd like to increase that stretch. Nice job. And then sitting up, sneaking yourself out of there, we're just going to come over to kneeling one more time with our heels against our shoulder blocks and our hands on our box. Find a comfortable place to place those hands about shoulder distance apart, fingertips spread, and then press the pelvis forward towards the box. From here, we're just gonna press the carriage out and in. Now it's particularly important that your box is nice and steady and is not gonna push forward over the foot bar. So make sure you feel secure here. Just doing a little back extension, lifting that sternum up towards the ceiling. Let's do two more. And one more time. Very nice job, guys. All right, find a seat. Bring your feet flat onto the floor underneath your knees. Take a breath, inhale, and exhale. And one more time, inhale, and exhale. And you guys are all done. I hope you enjoyed that athletic reformer workout. Please let me know what you thought in the comments or questions down below. I'd love to hear from you. As always, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn those notifications on so you don't miss our next workout. Um, again, thank you so much for being here with me and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.